All right, team. Um, Cade, we're going to do you next. Um, just say to KJ's. I just picked a random game off ball chasing that you, KJ, and Tanner all played together. Um, I'll show you the ball chasing. Uh, so you guys end up winning this one 4 to 3. Lots of goals. Hopefully, some good stuff to look over. Um, two assists. That's hype. Playmaker. Let's go. Um, boost per minute. All this stuff is pretty standard. Not too many seconds with zero boost. This happened in the other game, too. You have so many seconds with 100 boost. I am really bad at it. Honestly, it's a good thing to have 100 boost, but maybe you should just be boosting more. I don't know. That's just a really interesting statistic that stands out. So hopefully we'll look at that as we're in the replay. Um, but you don't have a lot of time with zero boost. Because if you had a high time with 100 boost and a high time with uh, zero boost, that means you're just burning through your boost. But you don't have a lot of high time with zero boost either. So maybe you're just holding on to it too much. I don't know. Maybe you're just goaded with your boost. You also are not using a lot while supersonic, which is awesome. Very good. Keep that up. This number. Oh, that's why you have so much time with 100. Because you're not getting pads. You're only getting big big boosts. This number, oftentimes I'm up there 78. I get 80 in overtimes. I've gotten up to like 90. Um, and you're only at 30. So this is a number that we really got to work on. Um, so we'll look at that during this replay. And why that's happening. So that's some boost issues. I also like looking at movement. Your supersonic percent's a little bit slower than everybody. I think you just should probably be committing more to things. We'll look at that as well. Like this should probably be closer to like 65 to 70 is like ideal. Excuse me. Um, percent supersonic speed. Yeah, it's just a little bit lower. Like you have a high percent slow speed. Uh, so you're just sitting, which is kind of okay to sit sometimes, but we'll look at that. Um, everything else is pretty standard. All right, let's get into the replay. Um, I know this isn't your car design. I know this isn't everybody's car design. I have four default team colors on, um, and I don't know how to turn it off. It's unchecked in my settings. I don't know if the box is my thing or what, but it's annoying. So sorry that the cars are ugly. Got boost. Oh, that's an unfortunate way to start. But it happened because nobody cheated up. In this situation, Tanner should be cheating up. And he didn't. So that's 100% why that happened. Not too worried about it. Not your fault. Um. So I'm talking about your your camera usage a little bit. It's okay to go to car cam until like now. Here you should be on ball cam. You don't go to ball cam until like after contact is made. And so you have a lot less time to react. If this ball is coming directly to you, if it was like going too fast, you wouldn't be as ready for it. So try to go to ball cam before contact with the kickoff is made. It's just a little thing, but I think it'll help on your kickoffs a little bit more. Really good shadowing. I like that you touched that to yourself. That's good. Let's get out. Uh, Careful going to, to car cam here and just getting out. I know you have zero boost, but you don't know what is happening. Like you're completely leaving the play and you don't know, like that ball was going behind Tanner. You have no idea what is gonna happen right now. That could be popped up. Tanner could get dunked and this ball could become screaming at you in about like half a second. Like by now, this ball could be coming towards you and you would have no idea. And be a little bit careful with the precision of your flips. Like that, that scenario I just described did happen. It just happened a lot slower than I described. Um, but yeah, you just want to be a little bit careful. I do the same thing. I was getting roasted uh, for it when somebody else who did a replay review for me. I stay on card cam way too much, but just try to be on ball cam as much as you can at crucial times. This is good though. I like that you just challenge fast here. You just force it away. Go for the dunk. That's fine because now it's free ball for KJ. You grab this. You rotate back post. Very disciplined. I like it. Yeah, you can turn up. Can't wait. You can probably be going for this now. As soon as you see that nobody's ready for it, you're boosting. You're going for this like right now. You like you could probably 50 with that guy. I know maybe Tanner called you off. Actually, he's boosting towards it. So I don't know what the comms are like. So maybe he said he had another. <laughs> this is kind of a wild demo. I don't know why this guy's going for you right now. I wouldn't. I also I was not ready for you to get demo by this guy. My eyes are on the ball too. You just shadowing the play. <laughs> <laughs> of course it happens to you, that's unfortunate. 
No worries. You should be speeding up a little bit faster to get back in this play. Tanner's already going out, so you're going to have to be second. So, like, it's already, like, maybe a little bit greedy to, like, grab this. But now you should be, like, flipping, like, speed flipping towards this play. I like that you're here, but now you should probably be, like, pressuring by now. But this is still okay. You still kind of got there in time. You have no boost. That's awkward. I'm almost going to go out of it. Careful about going to car camp too much. You only need to go there once. To <laughs> of course it's you. Yeah, like you maybe could have jumped over it, but like, <laughs> that's just unfortunate. <laughs> it didn't really do much. Like it was kind of a bad demo on their part. So like we take those. You maybe could have just like gone for that. And so I... I don't know, it's tough because you're in like these in-between situations where maybe you could have gone for it, maybe you, you shouldn't have. But overall, from watching like other replays in, in the past and stuff, I know that your bad habit is not going enough. In threes, you can just overcommit. If you're first person, you know that your teammates are both like back and behind you. You like KJ's right behind you, Tanner's gonna be like rotating way back post. You know that you're first person, so you can just your job is to just dive. Just go crazy. So right here, just be boosting, jump off the wall, and just dive at that ball. And it would have been a lot like less awkward if you just went sooner. Like even this, like it's a little bit like recognition. Oh, uh, I guess it's because he he like faked it to his team. I guess you can tub in right for that. This is fine. But Antana gets a free ball. You you probably could have turned up field actually. I know KJ's upfield. But he probably he should be he should be getting back by now. That is his job now. Tanner has it. There's no way he can get it all the way downfield to KJ. He could maybe get this to you. If he possesses this and you like turn and turn around this way, and you're like here now, there's a chance that Tanner possesses that and he side flips it right here to you. You're following with him. KJ should be back. Maybe and if I were you, I would have turned here. I would have been here. I would have saw that KJ's upfield and then I would have rotated back. But you're rotating back like too soon. Like, don't be afraid to like help out your team and be a little bit more involved. Even if you're an option right here and a little bit in front of Tanner, that scares that last back guy a lot. Like the threat of the pass is still good. I like that you're just shadow. You're maybe a little bit too close here though. Like if that guy just like pinches it hard off the wall, it's gonna go past you. You probably want to be right here. You're maybe and maybe what's happening in your mind is like you're predicting where the ball is going too much, so you're too close. But you have time to re oh, you have time to react to where the ball is going. That was scuffed, and you get a goal out of it. That's crazy. You guys just clipped on these dudes. That's cr that's insane, actually. <laughs> you cannot believe that. <laughs> you goobers. A little ghost hit. Man, I was going to be say that you're being a little bit too greedy right now. Hoping that this guy is just going to miss the ball. But he literally does miss the ball. That's crazy. He was going to go out of it, so whatever. Uh, be a little bit careful about car cam again. This is good that you go back. It's okay to like, but you know that that one's there. Do you hear? See that the corner one's not there. Hmm. Maybe you didn't see that the middle one's there. I don't know. Replay always confuses me. But but you don't need to stay here that long. You just needed to check real quick to see if that one's there, and then you should be able to get it while in ball cam. Because that ball could have been coming towards you, and you wouldn't have known. I like that play. This play's okay. Um, be careful about how far forward you hit it. You hit this like this angle. If you just like drive and hit it with like the right corner of your car on this side, it'll pop at like this angle. And you want to take this space and play like kind of almost as like slowly as possible. Like you want to approach the goal very slowly. If you hit it too far forward, then you're just going to play into their corner. 
You want to avoid playing into the corner. So that's what I mean by slowly. I mean, you just want to push too far forward to their corner. You want to get this ball as midfield as possible and to yourself still. But this is good that you at least hit it in a way that you can catch up to and get a second touch. And also in this touch, if you want to get as much power as possible, you're going to have to either hit it. You're either going to have to get past it and hit it like on this side of the ball, or you're going to have to hit it after it bounces. And you hit it before it bounces. That's why it just goes off the corner wall. But you want to try to hit that like harder. Sun's up in a gold one. This is a good kickoff. Give this boost. Again, careful about staying on car cam too long. Once they you, they jump, like it's fine to be on car cam here to like flip to the boost, but like here. You should be able to grab this on ball cam. You don't know where the play is going. You don't know where the play is going. Oh, the play is going over here. Now you finally know. This ball could have been coming at you. Or you could have needed to turn back. Maybe they won. Maybe Tanner got dunked and you would need to turn back. You won't know which way you have to turn. So here you can uh, like see KJ for half a second. But also you hear him. You just know intuitively that he's over there. Um... What you want to do then is since that ball is kind of going towards him and he's he's going to be challenging, you have to cover his beat. So you want to be covering more this way because you want him to force them to throw it away and then you want to be here. Think about that. If you're right here, you have a really good shot at scoring right now. Like that guy might have a save, but you have a really good shot at hitting it past him and into the net if you're here. But you were just too far forward that you had to turn back. That one was kind of hard though because you didn't fully see KJ, but that's what you want to happen in that situation. Careful about committing. It's fine that you're pushing up, but careful about jumping. Like you want to push up because yeah, there's a good chance you can have that ball, but at this point, you should see, oh, that dude's going to have a touch. Your last person, you cannot commit to this unless you know you are hitting that ball. So it's fine for you to be there, but as soon as you recognize that he's going to get that touch, you power slide cut and you start shadowing and you try to force him to the corner. Your job is to force him to the corner to buy enough time for the rest of your team to get back. But you go, now they have a really good shot attempt. And they end up scoring. And that goal is your fault. Uh, you want to cheat up here. In this situation where it's corner and two sides, the person who goes for boost should be the person who, who goes behind the person going for kickoff. The other person should cheat. You should always have one person cheating. You can be pushed up a little bit further. Like, look how slow you're going here. Just listen to your car just like... <laughs> It works out okay, but you could be going, oh my gosh, I almost went in. You should go for that again. You you, you play so passive. Just go crazy. I think uh, I noticed this when watching KJ's replay. I think you guys just, like Tanner kind of plays middle ground. You usually play really conservatively, and then KJ goes crazy. I think you guys need to play more balanced. I think KJ needs to get back a little bit more, and I want you to go in a little bit more. Like, just follow that, dude. You had 100 boost. Uh, honestly, I want you to go for a little bit more of a mech here than just like... Just slamming it at them like what's this gonna do um you get a free ball bro this is free play mode right now this rolls up you should have taken uh instead of turning up the wall here you should have dri driven this way a little bit more and go underneath it you pop it up bro it's free play at that time you're going for a triple musty as colin would say but instead you just hit it and leave it and even if you hit that drive on the ground and try to follow it up Try to like dunk them and add pressure. But now they just get a free ball. And now you're getting back and you have plenty of boost. You're not doing anything. And you guys score off of it. You guys shouldn't have scored off that. I hate when the wrong plays are rewarded. Your kickoffs are pretty good though. Dude, and because you stayed on ball cam, you were able to turn for that. That's so good. That was a great play. Again, careful about the car cam usage too much. This is fine. Yeah, check where they are. I like that. You maybe didn't have to drift forward this far. Uh, what I want you to do is stay 
is uh, kind of stay in goal a little bit right here. Because once you move past the front post, then the net's exposed and you can't do anything about it. I know you have Tanner in front of you, but if they squeeze it in this front post, he can't really do anything. Uh, so stay front post when you check where they are. So I just need you to do everything you just did, but a little bit faster and not drive too far forward. Because by the time you saw where he was and then he went up, um, he was going to hit it behind you. But if you were still here right now and maybe you're creeping up at this point, boom, look at this. This is so much better if you're here. Be careful about creeping too far forward. Nice, you dodged a demo. Honestly, you could have reverse demoed this guy. You see him? If you cut hard left, you're going to hit him. But I get that you don't want to risk it. You're the back post person. And you can turn up field for this. So again, I want you to be more aggressive. Even though you had to dodge that, Tanner's on the backboard. Which means he cannot push forward to assist KJ. This is your job now. As soon as you see this, this situation right here, this is going to happen a lot. Where you are going back post. Somebody's taking the ball off the corner and the second person went to backboard. When you recognize the situation, this is where you turn up field because one person needs to assist the person transitioning to offense. Um, and it can't be Tanner. So it's you. And so, yeah, you don't want to play in that. Like you should be going right here right now. Let's see what happens. You could have been up for this ball, I think. You would have been like pushed up, pushed up. You would have been like, look, Tanner's already here. You would have been in front of him. You could have been like here right now. If you would have been boosting up, up, like, don't be afraid to use your boost. And you could have been up to challenge this. And then that would have been a really good 50 for Tanner to follow up on. But now you're challenging it way back here. Where Tanner had to turn back by that point. And this is the, the pattern that I'm recognizing here of you not willing to be as aggressive and just go for things is why KJ was like, Cade, where are you? Cade, Cade. Uh, and it's because he wants you to just go, just go, just go, just go. And that's also going to push you to get better faster if you just put yourself in those situations where that's a really good play. That was incredible. I want to watch that again. Dude, that catch is so clean. You have the mechanical skill at times to do things like this. Uh, just need you to push yourself and just put yourself in situations where you can do it more. Uh, but after you make the pass, though, I think uh, you got to think about the plan B. What are you doing afterwards? I think you just kind of figured this was in. Then you go to ball cam to like watch it, which is like fine. But you, I think you can keep driving forward, grab that boost. And now you turn. Oh no, no, you can't turn back in though. You either need to just like wait here and hope you can like flip into it. But once you're driving away, you're out. Let Tanner go. The, the amount of time with 16 boosts it'll take you to completely turn around and go back in for this, zero chance. Zero chance that you're doing anything. Like oh my gosh, you're on car camp for so long. I'm having a heart attack. Now, this is good. Um, let KJ do his thing. You play front post. Your positioning is good here. I like that you stopped and just let, yeah, let him give you the ball. Be careful about how hard you hit it, though. You just kind of gave it away. Look how much space you have. Just kind of like single jump into this, like softly, get a soft touch, and then you would follow it up into a 50. But now this guy just gets a pass to you. But you go downfield though, I like that. And at this point though, the pass did not happen. I guess you're grabbing mid boost, so that's okay. But be really careful about staying upfield too long. I like that you're there, but once Tanner took a collecting touch, he can't pass it to you anymore, so now you get back. But if you boomed it right there, then you would have been there. Hmm. I think it would have been your turn to rotate like back post further, but Tanner rotated in. So if I were you, I'd just cut him off. Yep. Um, on these, you have all the time in the world. That guy's getting back. I guess it looks like he might challenge you. So maybe you're trying to go fast because of that. But this would be so much easier if you take off going in the direction you want the ball to go. But you're taking off going this way and you want the ball to somehow go at their net. So now you take a first touch going in that direction and it's going to be very, very difficult to follow it up. We'll see how this goes, but it would just be 10 times easier if before you jump, you just take half a second to swing here. And even if you don't go all the way like over here, even if you just come right here, it'd be way easier than here. Because you take that first touch going to the right, it's impossible for you to follow it up now. But if you were going with this, the same direction as the ball, you could double that. I guess it's a touch anyway. But... Uh, be careful too, you have like zero boost here. So let's watch this whole thing. Like I get that boost. You can, when you're rotating back, if that mid boost isn't there, this boost, look at this count. One, two, three, 
four, five, and you can even like six, seven, eight as you turn in. That's a hundred boost. That's the same as going all the way back to get this one. If you just like do 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 do, um, and it's better because at any time, if you're on ball cam, ball cam, ball cam, you can realize even in like this boost pad, oh, it's time for me to go back into play. You can turn it here, and you'll have like 60, 70 boost already, rather than being fully committed to going all the way back. And you have thirty boost already. You use thirty boost to then go all the way back. And now you're in a horrible situation. And that's all because you went for full boost. You had 30 boost already. If you're getting these boost pads and taking this route, you would have been you would have been like here. You could have cut them off at this point. But now you're like just hoping. And it works out, but you could have got a much better time. You have boost. You have boost. You don't need the big pads. This is what I was talking about. You're not getting the small pads. This is that number. You have 62 boost. That is ginormous. Like you have to use them here, but on your way there, you can get pad and pad. Plenty of boost. You go for the ball. Oh my gosh, it hurts my soul watching that. I want to make you watch it again. You need to cringe at yourself so you never, you never do this again. Both your teammates are behind you. Tanner dimes you up, bro. I mean, I guess it could be a little bit more to you, but you need to pressure that. And you complete. You turn off ball cam even. You don't even know where this is going now. And you take the boost from Tanner. Oh, that was a good touch at least. Yeah, yeah, snag that. That's good. And now you get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is good now. I, I like the idea. I like the idea. That's an advantageous boost for you. You create a space for Tanner. Turn on this. Oh my gosh. This needs to be instant, bro. You got 100 boosts. You see this ball? There should be no doubt in your mind. Like, first of all, you might, you don't need to be, you should be turned a little bit more to the right already because this person literally can't touch it at the net from that angle. So you need to be more turned to the right. But as soon as you see this, oh my gosh, you are whipping around so fast, bro. Oh, and now you're just waiting for me to get a second touch. You would have dusted this man. KJ got the demo. You could have scored. You could have scored a goal there. You maybe could have flipped into this ball a little bit better so it's just that your recovery is better on the wall. Um, I think if you like speed flip into that ball, basically, uh, you'll you'll keep your nose pointed forward and you'd land better. You'd probably follow it up. What a spawn. Yeah, so now you're assisting him. I like this. I like this. This is huge. You wait, you wait. Your timing is so good. You had a goal opportunity. That's fine. I don't really care if you miss your shots, to be honest. Most of the time. <laughs> your, your pacing and stuff is good. Whoa! Where are you going here, homie? I know you don't want to get demoed, but like... Just go on the backboard or something. Just dodge it. Just single jump, I guess. Or even just slam on your brakes. Like, you dodged it. But now, and even if you're committing to this, you see KJ's up. Oh, and you double jump too. You're like full fast here and committing already. Even if you single jump there, you could just boost straight down. You have plenty of boost. Sometimes it looks like you just like literally take the hand, your hands off the controller. Like, look how you land right here and you're just like, you're just idling up the wall. Like, where are you going right now, my guy? I guess maybe if that guy was facing the ball, he could have like boomed it to you, but there was a very small chance. Um, This touch, actually, I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of it. Just taking one touch and instantly turning downfield, I do that all the time. This is the chance KJ could have, like, boomed that to you. Make a wish goal. Make a wish goal. There's five seconds left. Nice. I like that you challenged that with confidence. Yeah. Um, Main things. Uh, Two things. Uh, One, try to just stay on ball cam a little bit more. A little bit more. If you do have to go to car cam to look for a boost or something or to just see your pathing, just tap it. Just quickly tap it. Maybe to get this in your brain, what I've done is go to your camera settings and your like transition speed is how fast uh, the speed transitions from ball cam to car cam. Up that just like 0.1. That'll make it a little bit more snappy and then I'll get it in your mind to just like turn it on quick and turn it off. Um, so that's the one thing that I want you to push yourself. The other thing, just be more aggressive. Just go downfield, especially if both your teammates are back. Um, just go for more balls. Even if you miss, it's okay. Um, like, because you're going to force them to do things. If, especially if you're first person, it's your job is to force them to give the ball away. I'm Like, trust me, just go for more. Um, I think that'll help you plenty in the long run.
So, but isn't that good stuff? Let's get this dub today.